we're here looking at the Fancy Nancy and uh, with Nancy who's fancy and Bill the owners uh, boat looks to be in very nice shape it looks like a real fishing machine this is the uh, starboard side you can take a look at it it is a pursuit and what is the length bill 26 5 26 5 26 feet 5 inches rub rail appears to be in good shape it's railing all around the deck uh, there's the cleat with some tape on them that was probably used to hold down some kind of a cover. And you have the outriggers, right, Bill? Yes, they're in the shed of my, in my Outriggers. Store. Full canvas. Canvas looks fairly new. It's in good shape. Yeah, nice visibility. Portholes. And uh, the trailer goes with it, Bill? Yes. It's a venture trailer. 2016. 2016 trailer, triaxle. Wow, very nice trailer. Uh, this marina does not allow power washing of the bottoms when the boat is withdrawn from the water in the fall. So there's still some scum on it, but that's nothing. And this is the uh, hitch. You have surge brakes on this, Bill, or electric? Yeah. Surge brakes. Disc su brakes. Surge disc brakes. Right. On the, uh, and what is that, what is this, um, what is this for? That's the surge brake, that's the, the cylinder, the water, I mean the oil goes in here. The hydraulics. Right, okay. the hydraulic. That's for the hydraulics for the surge brake. Yeah. Nice sturdy clamp, nice sturdy winch. Very nice trailer. There's an anchor there, a uh, collapsible anchor. There's your bow rail, bow pulpit's in good shape. It looks like there are some nicks that were fixed, which is good. Hull is clean. The bottom is, of course, got some scum on it, but that's easily washed off. Look around the port side here. There's the uh, 2655 you can see right there for the length of the boat. It's been checked by the Coast Guard Auxiliary for safety reasons. And now we'll go aboard the boat and look at the inside. Here is the uh, platform for the engines, twin Yamaha 200s, stainless steel props, appear to be in good shape, no nicks, looks like Bill was very careful and didn't hit anything, and it has Benic hydraulic uh, trim tabs, self bailing cockpit, and there is a way to get on the boat I assume somehow which I will do right now. Uh, continuing with the video, I am on the platform where the engines are. Uh, it looks like it has a live well back here. We'll open those up in a second. Rod storage under the bolster cushions, which appear to be in very good shape. There's no nicks. The upholstery is, and there's no cuts on them. The upholstery is very nice. Plenty of rod holders. So you want to go out tuna fishing, this is the boat. Uh, now I'll climb aboard. I don't kill myself. Coming here into the helm area, two and a half facing seats, cushioned, with storage underneath both. As you can see here, underneath this seat, and underneath this, this seat here as well. You can lines, fenders, all of which will be going with the boat. This is the helm area. Uh, low rants, GPS, and uh, chop plotter with Raytheon radar. Fish it's finders on the right. Fish finder Death here. Under that in the rants. Take it off. Yes, yeah, here. It's your low rants uh, fish finder. And the, HDS5. Um, there's another GPS under the left one. 
And that, that's a fish finder over there as that's well? That's a fish finder, depth finder. Yeah, and here's your GPS. That's a GPS. And here another low rinse. And I have another GPS up here, a Garmin. And there's a Garmin on top as a backup uh, with a standard uh, VHF radio. And these are our controls. Stainless steel in good shape helm wheel. And we'll open up the cabin now. And this is the cabin, a twin V berth up front with a fridge and sink and very nice uh, setup. Wooden stairs going down, and storage underneath those as well. There's our V berth in front. There's the stove, the uh, sink. Go ahead. There's the fridge. There's even a snack in there for whoever buys the boat. <laughs> and the uh, fridge is in good shape. Back here is the ladder to get on. Fully functional. The back. And this is the uh, swim platform. Ladder to get onto the swim platform. Uh, somebody uses Niners. Let's see. Yeah, the overhead uh, is in good shape too. The uh, overhead uh, padding over the top of the cabin. Actually, it, it's all in very good shape. There's no rips, there's no tears. The upholstery is in very good shape. This is the head. Uh, manual pump head, holding tank underneath. Sink. Storage here. You can get at all your piping quite easily the way this is set up. All in all, very nice vessel, fluorescent overhead light, towel rack. That's your electrical panel. And you can get into your, all your electrical uh, components via the wing nuts in this electrical panel.